Hey guys, thought I'd jump on real quick while I have a chance. Uh, Caden's with his dad at the moment, so I've got the house to myself. Um, since Caden got out of the hospital, he's been doing great. He, uh, we kept him on uh, Ventolin for a couple of days, but the tug is gone, which um, I need to get that video up about what it looks like when a child's struggling with breathing. I haven't done it yet, but I will do that uh, probably tonight. Yes, so um, I noticed he hasn't been having the tug, so um, I stopped giving him the Ventolin, and yeah, he's perfectly fine. Uh, the cough didn't even stick around, so yeah, he's doing great. I had his uh, actual birthday party today, so that was really good. Um, you can see my mess over there. <laughs> Including Caden, there were uh, nine kids. So a really good turnout. Caden had a lot of fun. He got so many presents. Um, what else? Mm, they double. Oh, it was at Hungry Jack's, and uh, they actually double booked us, which really pissed me off because, like every single birthday party that Caden has had, like three, <laughs> all of three. They have screwed up. Every single venue have screwed up in one way or the other. It's like... Seriously, I mean, what do I have to do to just... Have a normal birthday party? And I don't want to have it at home because I don't want to, you know, have like... A million kids running through my house and then all the mess to clean up and... It's just easier to do it somewhere and then, you know, they provide the entertainment as well as the food and like a play area and they clean up. Um, apologies for the way I look right now. I s just stayed up way too late last night. <coughs> so I'm tired and had the birthday party today and obviously the light in here isn't the greatest so it probably makes me look even worse. Uh, yeah, so the party yeah, was good. Um, I'll chuck in some photos. Here. Um, the video uh, where I asked uh, which outfit looked better. Thank you for everyone's input on that. Um, I did g end up going with option number two because that was what I felt most comfortable in. And you know, at the end of the day, if I don't feel comfortable, then I'm not going to have a good time. So yes, I went with that and I rocked it. And I'll stick in some photos of that as well here. Um, as far as what else is going on, um, Christian's had Caden the past three weekends. Um, so I've been going out and having a bit of fun. Sorry, I'm slouching. I'm such a slouch. I like, look at that. Oh, I need to sit up straight and stop wreaking havoc on my back. But now my head's cut off. Um, yes, so i just been going out, having a lot of fun, mucking around with the rugby boys. Uh, speaking of the rugby boys, there's 
kind of one I'm sort of kind of seeing. Um, I don't know, we haven't labelled it yet or anything, but I really like him. And he met my nan when she was over, and my nan loves him. Like, oh my god, she's like a really, really awesome judge of character. And she did not like uh, Christian, and she didn't like Michael. Um, they're the only two boyfriends that she's met. And she was right about them, but, um, this guy, she really, really likes. So that's, that's a big thumbs up for me. Like, you know, if you get my nan's tick of approval, then you're alright by me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't, I, we talk to each other, like, every single night on MSN, like, for hours. And... I don't know, we just get along really well, we have fun together. I don't know, I'm not looking to like go rushing into relationships, so and I'm not like even trying to sort of um get that sort of thing. I'm which I'm just sort of playing it day by day, just sort of just taking it as it comes really and not putting any pressure on it because I don't even know that I want to be in a relationship, to be honest, right now. So we're just like having a bit of fun together and yeah, uh, what else? Uh, I'm going to be moving house within the next couple of weeks, uh, the next couple of months, sorry, because the lease is up on this house in October. So I obviously, the rent here is 280 a week and that is just ridiculous um there's no way I could afford well I could afford that on the money that I get but it just wouldn't leave a whole lot left and I mean you know I've got a car I've got Caden to look after mobile then there's all you know the normal bills electricity gas um phone bill you know just everything like that so yeah I really want to move it and also I want a smaller place because it's just going to be me and Caden and this house is just so big, it just gets so cold and like it is freezing at the moment here in South Australia. Oh my god, it is so cold. And this place has floorboards throughout like the whole house. There's only carpet in the three bedrooms. Everywhere else is either wooden floorboards or it's tiled in the um, like laundry, toilet and bathroom. It is tiled. So yes, I want a smaller, like just a little like two bedroom unit with carpet because that's easier not only to clean because it's a smaller space, but also to keep warm. Um, yes, so I will be moving house within the next couple of months. I'm very excited. This place is still in Christian's name, like mine and his on the lease. So this next place I get will be the very first place I've gotten all on my own all in my own name, you know, me paying for absolutely everything. So yeah, it's exciting. Um, I guess that's all I really have to update about. Yeah, that's it, I would say. Um, I'm going to do a tag video after this, so stick around for that, and I'll catch you later, guys. Bye.